Okay guys, this is a quick tutorial um, on how to make your servo arms longer. I um, had a question from Tall Guy SD uh, from SD Park Flyers and uh, he was uh, inquiring on how I modified my servos for my ailerons and rudder and elevator. Um, basically, um, basically what I use most of the time on my general models, um, I'll use uh, these uh, Hextronics HXT 909 gram servos. Um, they're pretty good little servos. I used to use the uh, the S 75s because they were cheap by E-Flight, but um, they break and they, they strip real easy. And I found that these are a little cheaper and uh, are very strong. Um, I have yet to strip one um, on just general impacts and stuff like that. But the problem with these and um, servos like like these, like these diamond uh, D47 micro servos. Um, these are even smaller yet. Uh, problem with them is they come with these small servo arms and for me, I like the servo arms to be longer because I like to do 3D and so I need a lot of um, deflection on my elevator and rudder. You know, I need more throw basically. So what I like to do is uh, make them longer. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, so here's the size that normally comes with them, and here's how long we're going to make them. Uh, as you can see the difference, it's quite a bit. Uh, it makes a huge difference in the actual uh, surface, but anyways, um, obviously you can't just bolt these right up to your servo um, because of the, the spline shaft difference. Um, a lot of these servos these, uh, come with you know different spline shafts like these, I mean look how small that one is. Compared, you know this servo arm is compared to you know that one or that one um, so basically uh, we got to figure out a way to make them longer because this one one that comes with this servo you know goes on nicely but this one won't uh, because of the spline chip so I'm gonna show you how to do that how to make it longer and uh, go from there okay guys so to start out grab your servo and the servo arm that you want to work with um, that comes with your kit, you know, like these guys. And run to the hobby shop and go get some Dubro Micro Servo Arm XLs. Um, those basically look like this. So you can see the difference um, between this one and this one in length. Um, so what we're shooting for is the longer length. So first step we want to do is flip it over so that this ring, let me get rid of these, so that this ring right here, you cut it off so it's flush with this. So I've already gone and done that. Um, and here's one that I've cut off. So as you can see, uh, that little tower thing is now cut off. I've cut off all the splines. So see, flat, this is what we want. We want it flat. Um, and I've gone ahead and done that to our aileron one we're gonna use for the aileron so same deal I've cut it off with the razor blade just hacked it right there that circle off and made it flat so here's the one that came with the kit with the with the servo and here's the one that I want so you can see the difference in length next what we want to do is now that we got that cut we want to put the the servo arm that came with the servo on the servo like so then take this flat one that you just cut the circle off and put it put it on top so that the, the centers line up um, like so. So you want to part you cut off you want facing up. So now you want to put your screw in that holds on the servo arms and uh, I'll do that real quick and get back to you. Okay guys so I've screwed on the long servo arm and uh, as you can see it's you know above the the factory one or the stock one. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of CA right here and right here, like that. So it's a little bit of super glue on there, you can see. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist the arms together so that the super glue kinda, kinda bonds them a little bit. But that's not strong enough to hold, to hold that arm in place when you're flying. Um, so what I've found is if you take a piece of heat shrink tube that works really good um, and cut it in you know two pieces like this um, the reason why we're extending these is because we want to use these holes the furthest ones out 
Um, so I cut my shrink tube so that I can slide it over like this and the last two holes are showing um, like that for example. You can see them sticking out the last two holes here and on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of uh, CA right, right on there, kind of where the shrink tubes are going to gonna sit and you can put a little bit you know around the edges or whatever but don't get it near the near the bolt because you want to be able to take it off later but anyways um, so put your heat shrink on so that it covers both arms both servo arms the original one and the long one um, just like that now you can see it's covering both of them now what I'm gonna do is grab my heat gun trusty heat gun and I'm gonna shrink them You can use a lighter, but I like the heat gun just because it doesn't melt anything. It just gets it hot enough to shrink it. Okay, so I've shrunk the tube, and so now it's conformed to the arms, um, as you can see. And what it's also done is squished out the super glue um, so that it's holding it all together. And what I, I like to do is just dab a little bit of super glue on the ends on the ends of the heat shrink and then I will spray it with my accelerator stuff this stuff um, so I'll do that real quick so now the super glue is rock hard um, so if you want you can let it sit or whatever but basically what that does is it stiffens it up now without these shrink tube pieces on there um, the CA alone will just crack and then it won't work. But what the shrink tube does is it bonds to the CA and to the to the arm, so now they won't not break. So there you go. Now we've made it longer, and it's not that much heavier, um, and it also uh, also won't break because this is rubber. So if anything, um, it'll just stretch a little bit. I've never had one stretch or come loose, and I do a lot of 3D flying, um, you know, and a lot of like F3P type flying. Uh, so I need real precise, so this works really good. It's stiff, doesn't move, doesn't flex. It's perfect, so uh, There you go. There's your longer servo arm, so Hopefully that uh, that helped you out and answered your question <laughs>